Hello everybody and welcome back to part 4 of our Spongebob Squarepants Cosmic Shake 100% playthrough. Yes indeed, we are going to play through the entirety of this game, we're going to unlock everything, we're going to collect everything, we're going to do all of the things, and we are about to continue on in the, uh, what is it, the karate, oh look at the background there, they actually have basically the karate tower from that one episode, they just placed that in here. We're in the karate level right now, and we are about to make our way to the final boss, so without further ado, Let's do further! <laughs> ah, we've seen this on the YouTube clips where they've... I like all these tiny moments that we recognize from the promotional stuff that they re revealed of this game beforehand. A citizen in need. I also like Go the windows on the back. Rescue. The windows on that back yeah, wall. Like those jelly guns again. I hope we can use stunt, man. Oh, you can't see them now. But they looked like a comp like a, a mix between, you know, regular Eastern style, you know, construction. But also there was like the, there was the uh, what was it? An acorn. <laughs> there was an acorn kind of aesthetic to it, which is very witty. Love that. Alright, sir. Oh boy. Whoa! Uh, hey, sir, if you could just... I wonder if he can hit the other enemies. Come on, come on! Yeah, I don't know if he can hit other enemies with his attack. It doesn't look like it. But this is nice. It's a lot easier to fight um, the big guy when you're also fighting small guys so that you can, like... So that he can be distracted. Because taking out those three health takes a while. Get him the three punch and hope that he doesn't respawn another big guy, because that would be a little worse. I don't know if he can. Do you think that he can spawn a big guy? I thought this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly <laughs> beating me up. Very nice. Oh no, they're gonna do this a lot now. Well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. For those of you who don't know, a thespian is a person who's into acting, or is an actor. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse! That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one! <laughs> wild animal. Alrighty then, so yeah, this dojo. Go to dojo tower. This zen garden is so calm. Oh, this is a zen garden. Oh, said it. <laughs> Go Zen Garden! Go Zen you talking cheese! You're not getting paid an exposure for chit chat! If you want to convince paid my audience Wait, what? you're the real Karate King, you not, better show them some exposure. impressive acrobatics! Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to oh. get into your nemesis oh, fortress! Whoa. Could I just use the elevator? No! And action! And action, here we go! It is very funny being a person who makes films and experiencing any sort of like fake filmmaking like this is so funny. Got all the little jokes about and action and all that stuff. They have not said lights, camera, action yet, which is good because that's a fake thing. Uh, on no real movie set ever do they say lights, camera, action. Because fun fact, the lights are always on. They never need to turn on the lights right before filming unless maybe they used to do that back with the older technology of lights, but with modern LEDs that don't get hot. You uh, pretty much never need to burn them on or like preserve them for the sake of heat. The sound effect. That's such a satisfying sound effect for the big jelly. Hello, friends. Oh, shoot. A little dabble, do ya? Is there anything up there? There might be something up there and I just destroyed the tiki's. Can I jump off this guy's head? Uh, here, I'll jump off of this. Wait. Is that just an alternate way to get over to the same place? That felt like there really wasn't a reason to do that. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was just like more than one way to get over. Interesting. Interesting! Can I break these? No, they looked different than the ones right beneath them. Yeah, this is nice. This is a... So, yeah, this dojo-like design... I mean, well, it's very... So, karate would be would be Japan, I think. Yeah, so this should... This is definitely Japanese style. Um... I don't think I don't think karate is Chinese per se. I'm, to my memory, and again, I'm not a professional at this. And also, what's up with the? Oh, did the game just glitch? No, it somehow got clicked off of. Okay, that was really weird. Uh, I don't know how that happened. I was like, uh, not really scared there. Um, 
Oh, butter sauce. It would have been great That's if the other kung fu? Is kung fu Chinese? Karate is Japanese, maybe? I might be completely wrong, and both those are like interchangeable. I'm, I'm not a man of the world. I, I'm not, I'm not very scholarly. So I apologize if I don't know. If you, those of you could tell me, that would be great, and I'll be happy to learn. Tell me in the comment section what in the world uh, is the truth. But I'm pretty sure that's that case. I don't think dojos are even like. That's like. Is the word dojo Chinese or Japanese? I've never even considered that. I mean, assuming I'm right with it being Japanese for karate, I don't even know. I feel like that could be both. Man, I'm just so curious about all this now. This is really interesting to think about. Oh! Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> Can I get my balloons back? Thank you. <laughs> really messed that up. This is like an alternate version of Sandy's, like, um, you know, swinging hooks thing, which I know that there's a version of that later in this game already. But I like this, the way, the way that this works. That. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing I'm a balloon, or I'd be terrified of falling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch where you're landing. Yes, yeah, SpongeBob is very much not a balloon. I'm as sure footed as. No, I just went down. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, the way that he just, like. Oh, he could have just gone off the entire level there. Alright, uh. I was just trying to figure out why the balloon was that Oh, wow! The level is quite far down. And th thankfully, Patrick is just gonna save us and we're not gonna have to actually worry about all that. But... Ooh, this is fun. I love this. Again, this karate move is so fun! And the way they have the moving balloons as well. Sorry, I was trying to destroy the cannons. I don't need to hit any NPCs anymore now that I already have the uh, unlocked achievement. We're, we're now nearly halfway to the 10,000 that we need. Ooh! A creative way to do wall jumping! Also, I saw a stack of teeth. So <laughs> does that bother anybody? Tell me in the comments. Does that bother you if I'm, if I'm out going out of my way? Because I'm trying to get all the. I mean, this is a 100% run. I don't want to have to like farm these shiny objects later. So I might as well collect as many as I can right now. That way, we don't have to like later on, like part 12 of the series is like, oh, this is just a full episode of me just, no just you anything. know, popping stuff and getting the the different bubbles and whatnot. So I think it's oh, it's a big one. I think it's better if I just go ahead and get as many as I can right now as we're playing through. A little dabble do ya! Gosh, it's so fun to do that move. <laughs> yeah. Alright, where do I go now? You want me to go that way? Patrick, where'd you just go? Uh, oh, okay, here we go. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, tiki's are just, tiki's are just the required, you know, <laughs> you just have to. I don't know what I'm trying to say with that, though. Yeah, they really will just run straight off of the, uh, the platform if you let them. Interesting, we've got a giant moving Ooh, crane over here. getting close to the dojo! You know what they say, keep your friends close Gosh, don't get, and don't get trapped, don't get trapped! <laughs> that was a dramatic shot! That was so cool, I wonder if I could... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I started moving away. It's at the same pace that I am. I knew I could count on you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Look at the arrow they put on the building. They, they, they're letting you know where you're supposed to go. You can't get lost, that's for sure. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and click these. I like this. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> oh, really? I missed the one and didn't land down. That was that was unnecessary. Oh, but here we go. It's perfectly lined up. <laughs> Uh, miss those tiki's. I'll, I'll get back them later. Oh, bro. If you just miss the platform for a second... Can I, can I land on that? <laughs> It'd be funny if I could still, like, redeem myself. But if you miss the platform for a second, it just does not... It goes too fast. We'll sit here and wait for the ride. Thankfully, my live stream chat, which, uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, and if you see that this, this playthrough has been produced recently, if the video you're watching has been uploaded recently, well, good news! 
I'm live streaming as I record this playthrough, so you can join me on my live stream channel and uh, see all this goodness live. But my live stream chat is telling me that Japan is apparently the winner for where karate comes from. So I will trust their Google foo. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one more for the help because I'm nearly to zero. Huh. What do you think they're making with all these cranes? Ooh. That's a good question. I'm thinking pasta. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Sweet. Uh, ooh, what's going on here? I guess I just have to balance up here. I keep seeing tiki's and I keep expecting them to be like way more than just two. I was wondering if I could like fall down, smash them, and then jump up. Does that work? Can I do a? Yeah, so you can't. Look at me go! Interesting. One of the biggest speedrunning tactics in Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is being able to fall down and double, do a double jump. You can't do that in this game. You go into uh, the hover instead. That's very interesting that they removed that capability. Alright, buddy. Go ahead and start attacking me. Oh, he gets more red as he starts to attack. Uh, do you even want to hit this guy? Let me see how much uh, jelly he gives me. Because I could totally skip this guy. Let me just see if it's worth fighting this guy's head. Also, does any of my- Oh, does a dodge work? Oh, I only have one life left! Oh, this is probably not worth it. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. I just wanted to see. I wanted to see how much he gives. Oh, gosh. I did not even see the, uh... I didn't see because of the clouds. I could... And then it spawned right under me. Alright, come on. Alright, we're gonna skip him. I'll find out later. <laughs> That's the most annoying enemy uh, in this game so far. <laughs> There's a cardboard cutout. Ooh, rapid fire. That oh, look! It doesn't hurt you when you walk over the carter. That's awesome! That's good because he shoots so much of it and it covers up like a small platform like this. That's really, really nice. Uh, let me change my costume. We've been in this costume for a while. What should we- let's do the purple jelly sponge! I like that. Oh gosh, he's so like, gooey. Look at that! It's not a really good way to zoom in on Spongebob, because when I do this, he's not like on frame. There we go. I want to see who's driving each of these. <laughs> There's a child? Oh, it's not a child, it's just a small fish. I assume we're gonna go up there soon. Oh no no, this is the boss fight it looks like. Go, everybody. This reminds me of like, this is very Super Mario Odyssey like to have to break in like this. <laughs> oh, I thought there's gonna be an animation of us breaking down through. Oh. Oh, look, it's Sandy. I mean, oh, look, Sandy. <laughs> well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob, then his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick's stepping through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is that right? Well, you'll be leaving. It's a good thing she was wearing her uh, air bubble Zombie helmet because they just broke through. And my mood is karate. Ooh, looks like we're gonna have some good music Nobody for this. Nobody watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? <laughs> yeah. Action. Whoa, look at bonsai tree in the middle. That's fun. Okay, I'm trying to understand. So, I assume we aim her towards explosions. And then we hit. Wait, what do I do? Oh, I probably have to do karate. That would make sense. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, that's where the bombs are going to show up. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, I thought he was going to pull me under like that! Okay, so the, the shiny spots show us where it's going to be. We just line her up. She'll hit that. And then I actually karate chop her, because that's what this level is all about. Got her! Oh, and we have health in the bottom left, okay. Make way for that jelly! Gosh. I assume we have to hurt all these guys. Don't you dance! 
There's a lot of enemies there. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Phase two, everybody. Let's do it. I think there is an achievement for doing this boss battle with no damage, which I've already not succeeded at, and I'm really getting hurt very easily. It's actually not easy to avoid her here. Like, look at that, I thought I was hovering over her there. That was interesting. It saves your point in the battle, though. That's good. Okay, so for, for a casual playthrough, thankfully, uh, it, it saves your you know, how much progress you've done damage for her. But if I do have to do a version of this with taking no damage, we'll come back to this later and, and have to do that. That'll be, that'll be wild. That'll be a different thing entirely. Come on, come on. I love the little, like, smoke trail they have behind them. Excuse me, sir, where'd you- So far! They go such a far away before they give up. Oh. Okay, we'll have to dodge again. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, uh, okay, I guess just in general. Uh, okay. I feel like dodging is going to be important at some point. Golly, that's a lot. I'm trying to focus here. Oh, they gave me a lot more time with that one. Nice! SpongeBob! So, I, I could totally do that without taking any damage. Assuming that that's what I need to do, I need to check. That might be something that we can go ahead and check the pause menu and see if that's actually within the list. <laughs> it was all a dream. He wakes up. SpongeBob! Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. <laughs> no stunt crew in this film, fantastic. huh? I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Oh, there will be sequels and trilogies. I'll have to do the battle again to get another achievement. Light, camera, sound. I don't know if it's a sequel. It's the exact same thing, though. And... Ah, and that's the level! I forgot that I was the goo. <laughs> so the cutscenes don't take into account what costume you're wearing in the actual game. It'd be really funny if it did, though. What a ride! Thanks for helping me out, SpongeBob! You're welcome. No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around! <laughs> Look at how his uh, eyelashes are all squiggly in this costume. Also, I realized his his, his holes are inverted. They're like bubbles, like, on I'm the top. I'm glad Sandy and her weird house came back, but I want my house back, too! I hear you, pal. Award unlocked Ooh, movie star. Help. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of awards like that that just happened. Where's our, where's our blue horse? Our blue so Well, what are you doing here? Get out of here! I got it. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get hurt by that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna experiment here. We're gonna find out how much this guy gives and if he's worth fighting in normal gameplay. Gosh, I'm so scared of where he lands. Like, I'm not used to the way he spins just yet. I also don't know if there's a way to specifically get him to... Ugh, he shimmered over there. Where? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here, buddy! <laughs> I'm one of your own! Look at me! It looks like he just goes back and forth between the two different types of attacks, is what happens. Alright, we're at 41. Sticky sweet! <laughs> he gives us... What was that? It was six. So it's pretty much, if we can avoid fighting that guy, I'm gonna do it. Because, wow, is it just not worth it. It takes so long to actually fight him. Alright, Mr. Blue Seahorse. Uh, I've not yet been able to see the comments on the gaming channel. Because, again, um, we've filmed all three of these in a row. So, uh, I'll see what you guys recommended for naming him once I upload these tonight. So, even though, for those of you who are here on the, uh, oh wait, where, where am I going? I'm trying to go back to the Wild West. Which is right here. So even for those of you who are here on the live stream and I was recording this, if you could go leave comments on the uh, gaming channel videos and let me know what you want to name this seahorse, let me know because I'd love to give a name to this guy. That being said, we still have half of this episode left. I'm going to go back to the Wild West episode, what episode, the Wild West level, and we're going to go ahead and uh, try to redo some of those um, little areas that we now have the ability to unlock because I know that there was... Uh, at the minimum, oh. And so, our intrepid deputies return to the Wild West. What? Only to find that life goes on even after corralling the red-handed bandit. Wait, is there going to be more in this level now? Interesting. I was not expecting dialogue for a re-entry of a level. 
But Mr. Krabs isn't driving. But he's still there. I'm confused. Is there a story for coming back? Oh, no better find that juice. Uh, okay. Well, I don't really care because we're not gonna go straight through. We're gonna use the teleporting here. Um, and so does it? All right. So jellyfish trail, riding school, Manta Fay, Cactine Hills, Sap the Gatherer. To my memory, I wish they had a picture for what, what these areas. One out of eleven. Wait a minute. Oh wow! So there's eleven doubloons in jellyfish fields. Ten here. Interesting. Let's see if we can find that. Um, where that bubble surfing area was. I'm not quite sure where it was. A little dabble, do ya? I don't think there was anything around this. I see that there is the slingshot there, but we don't have that ability yet. So let's check. Let's check again. Let's go to Khaki Mills. I think there was one of these around here. Oh, is this it? Yeah, I think it's on top of this area here. A few moments later. And I'm back. Uh, we just found the button over here. It was hiding along the side, but it was in this secondary area. So it was in uh, this teleport here. I need to stop using the mouse. It's actually confusing me. Yeah, it was in the Cacteen Hills. No, it was in the Sap to Gather area. Uh, and then, I don't know, I just found my way over here. So we're going to go ahead and do this minigame. Oh, it's a timer minigame. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So it's timed, but it's limiting you here because you have to speak the enemies even to progress. Uh, I was hoping to just, like, hope that the wall went away in time, but now I have to wait for this to restart. Here we go. All right, making our way across the way. Oh, no! Oh, gosh, I don't even know if I'm going to make it. I've made so many mistakes so far. Yeah, doing the karate kick is the fastest way to get through that. All right, around the post. I don't know if the post would like make, oh, here we go. And that's for a doubloon. Perfect, first try. Very, very well. And does he, now this guy said. that's some good surfing. Earlier he said to beat your best time, but I don't even know what our best time was. I don't really think there's a point in going back through this course because I think you only get the one gold doubloon. Uh, Cause I feel like, yeah, we could just do this one more time. And well, well now without the enemies, we can do it really fast. We can do expert time now with no enemies. Look at this. I can just jump from board to board. Okay, well that, that's, I guess that's nice in that if you fail it the first time around, all the enemies are gone so that you can just, yeah, did that in like eight seconds. Fantastic. All right, now I don't actually remember any other section. Uh, I'll, I'll catch some more jellyfish for the, is that why they're not like getting ex hit or exploded? Is the idea that we're catching them? Yeah, that might make sense. Alrighty then, um, guys in chat, do you remember if there was any other thing that we passed by that potentially we can go ahead and do with the abilities that we have unlocked right now? Because that's the only one I distinctly remember. In the Ooh, more jelly. We can, uh, we can try to just progress and, and check, but I think that's the only one that I distinctly remember, because that's locked, whatever it's supposed to be. You know what, there was, in the cave, we could go back to the cave to check that. Don't remember? Yeah. Yoink. And now we are just on the search for the next thing. Uh, I might cut out the, some of that there. Uh, I don't necessarily know if there's anything nearby. And I might even just say this and then cut to me finding the next thing. Uh, but right now, I'm just kind of going through the level and trying to find any secret things. I, I would like to, if possible, find everything without doing research. I feel like it, it's a little bit... No, it's not cheating, right? But, like, going online to find where the secret things are takes the magic out of playing a video game. I don't want some online resource like IGN to tell me where everything is. I want to find it all myself. I want to be able to play through the whole game and be like, yes, I did this. I played through the whole game and, uh, and did it all myself. Now, one thing I'm noticing here is because you have to fight through all these enemies again just to find out whether or not there's like the secret hidden things, I probably won't come back to these levels again until we've unlocked all of the abilities. Going back halfway like this, it's a little inefficient because we're finding things that I can't even interact with. So this will probably be the last time we go back to specifically, uh, you know, interact with the levels until we've unlocked everything. I think this will be the last time. After this, we're just gonna go through the levels as they are 
And uh, I'm kind of losing hope that we're gonna find anything secret going forward. So let me go ahead and just teleport into like the cave, the bullworm mine. Let's check this really quickly. And if not, um, we'll just move on and we'll go to the hub world and see if we can find anything in the hub world because I know that we've unlocked a lot more area in the hub world since we last left there. It's such a nice game. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the exit to the level. That's right. So this area had this whole drop off here. I want to check this drop off one more time or even talk to him. See, I want to find an Alaskan bullworm, but so far, sir, it doesn't look like it even exists. Oh, that must be what this button is for. So it looks like... No, wait, what does the button say? Belly flop? I mean, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but we don't have it yet. So yeah, there's definitely stuff in this game that I have not yet unlocked. Uh, and so we're going to wait until we play through the entire game now to come back for all these little mini things, is I think what my strategy is going to be. Well, I missed that. No, let's just go back to the hub world. <laughs> back to the hub world we go. We're going to explore the hub world a bit and then jump into the next level. And that'll probably be all we have time for for the rest of this uh, part of the playthrough. Oh, look there. We got glove roll to the side. We got a guy freaking out, <laughs> losing his gourd. We got, uh, oh yeah, there's the entire, um, uh, what is that gonna be, the Halloween rock bottom over there? Oh man, th this is such a pretty area. Absolutely love this. This game, okay, so so far, this has been my first day playing the game, and uh, I see that the flag that we're supposed to go to is like on the other side of this level. But what do you, oh, we can Cassandra, check out- please help! We have to find my house! Without Wait, that, what? I'm it's... just a common talking sponge. Is the can- oh, I guess we have to- oh, okay. Sorry, Spongy, I'm just a little preoccupied fixing the fabric of the entire universe that you blew apart! Sure, that's what she's doing. That's Cassandra, exactly what she's doing. will you please help us fix my house? Sure, right after we fix your friends, your town, the cosmic, cosmic order, order. Of On the plus side, the general laws of gravity still work. Despite the air smelling of SpongeBob's breath, everybody can still breathe it, so. Oh, my beautiful home. I just realized that SpongeBob is a dry SpongeBob. It looks so weird to see him talk. And a delicious pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you take this cosmic costume and enter the portal? <laughs> oh, well, cool. So wait a minute, if this if this is the next level. Thanks for pointing, Patrick. So this is our next level, which I'm super excited for. This is a Pirate Ghoul Lagoon is what we're gonna jump into next. But I'm wondering, there's two flags in the hub world of Bikini Bottom? I'm gonna save the pirate costume. Uh, because I want to be the pirate costume in- Let's go ahead and be normal Spongebob, just for the end off of this episode. As we check out what's going on in the hub world, there's two flags over here, and I'm curious what's going on. Hello! How can I help you, madam? Mysterious cosmic jelly stuff! I know I should be inside with our elderly residents. Sure. They discovered this new radio channel and went crazy! Nothing will settle them down! Okay. I usually keep fortune cookies on me for emergencies like these. The soothing <laughs> crunches are so calming. <laughs> the soothing crunches. Love but it, love it. Unfortunately for me, the cookies have all disappeared amidst the town's chaos. Okay. Come on, Patrick. We can find those clairvoyant cookies. How many? How many do we need to find? Seven. Okay. This feels like something that I won't be able to find all of them because I bet you that you're going to need to unlock more abilities to get like... Whoa! That's terrifying. Oh, they respawn? Well, now... I thought I was ridding Bikini Bottom of this nuisance. Turns out they just respawn. That's unfortunate. So, um... Cool. Sandy, what do you have to say? Yeah. No problems. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm upset that I can't enter these buildings because it was really fun in Battle for Me Bottom to be able to enter them. But then again, if you want to do that, just play Battle for Me Bottom, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I have no idea where they're going to hide these, but we can look around. I wonder if it's going to be in the hub world or if they're going to hide those, like, fortune cookies in levels. That'd be weird. Do you think there's, like, one fortune cookie per level? Because I know there's seven levels. Oh, the medieval level. I'm gonna love that. All right. Well, let's go talk to um. Here, where's our where's our blue horsey? Blue horsey. 
I, I just, I wanted to go faster through the level here. I guess we'll go this way. <laughs> I don't know where Blue Horsey went. We gotta find out where Blue Sewer Horsey is. So, okay, so over, wait, is that a button I can press? Well, if there's a button I can press, I'm gonna press it. Aha! So this is something we weren't able to do earlier. There we go. A little bit of, oh, that was a far jump. I was not trying to do that. Uh, can I just, like, jump past? No, I guess I have to destroy him to get this wall out of the way. Alright, sure thing. Is he, is he not doing the spin because he doesn't have enough room? Huh, I wonder if he... No. Yeah, I wonder if he knows that he doesn't have enough room to do the spin. That's interesting. This little note will get us out of a sticky situation. Oh, apparently I collected a sticky note. Okay, good. Well, that's also something that we do need, though, so sticky notes are good. Um... I don't know if they give us anything, you know, like... Okay. Yeah, I'm really happy that worked. Okay, the camera's freaking out, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, I'm just gonna check out, like... <laughs> if it lets me jump up here, I'm gonna figure out what we have all around. Like, check out every nook and cranny, see if we can find some hidden things. The camera is not liking that I'm up here. The camera is very un upset that I'm up here. Alright, well they did not hide anything up here. But there's like an invisible wall right there. Uh, was there something up to the left now? Alright, so we're gonna check out that other flag and see what they have own. <laughs> and I'm not seeing cookies anywhere. Alright, horsey, if you would please bring us through. I'm gonna go fast. Go, go Sonic fast over now. Also, this is really nice. This is the first time we've seen Mr. Krabs' house represented in a video game. <laughs> Why does he have a bunk bed on the outside of the house? The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. I don't know if I'm able to, like, platform my way, my, my, my way around the house at all. Because I don't know if there's anything, like, hidden on top of the house. I'm like, they can hide things anywhere. I really wish we could enter. Also, wow, Mr. Krabs' house is the one house that makes the least sense out of all of them, huh? Like, how exactly does all of his rooms fit into that thing? All right, well, <laughs> that's fun. I love breaking through that. And uh, where's our other flag? There we go. Oh, is this more of our B plot? Here we go. Hey, Giggle Buddies. Both of you listen closely. Mm -hmm. I managed to track Spot's trails, but they are scattered everywhere and are leading to all of those portals. Okay. okay. Whoa. Spot is really going places. I said listen! <laughs> you have to look for him in all those worlds you're going to. You're the only one that can bring him back. Don't worry, Plankton. We'll look everywhere for him until he's back home safely. Good. Now out of my sight. So it looks like as we... <laughs> there were seven of them too. All right. So it's not going to be in the hub world. It looks like since there's seven of each of these things, as we progress through the game, these random NPCs are going to cause these hidden items to show up in the levels. Which really means we have no reason to go back to the old levels until we finish the whole game. So we're, we're gonna finish the main story first, for sure now. There's no reason to go back. Um, Cause, I mean, to progress through the entire level and then have to go back anyways, just because NPCs are adding stuff. Yeah, that's a bit, bit unnecessary. Well, that's it. It looks like that's all we've unlocked for now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and Check out what this is. I think we've already done this one, haven't we? Because this leads us up to the right, right? Yeah, we've already done that. I really want to know how we're supposed to get that golden underwear on the karate level. I'm, I'm still remembering that. We're going to come back to that because I need it. I like bikini bottom. Good, you live there. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, hello, Wild West Sam I am. I think that is it for now. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we're gonna continue this on next time where we go ahead and go into, what was it, the pirate level. I'm excited to jump into that. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and, uh, do the YouTuber thing. You know, like, whatever, subscribe, comment. Uh, uh if you haven't known this already, you can join us on our live stream channel as we play through this game live. And, uh, there's gonna be a link to that in the description probably. So, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye!